<clears throat> the month of Elul is um, considered a divine mercy and forgiveness. A quick history, it was on the early morning of the first of Elul when Moses ascended Mount Sinai to receive the second set of tablets. He also went up a third time, rem remaining another third, uh, 40 days from the first of Elul to the 10th of Tishri. Um, he was, it was during this time that he obtained God's wholehearted forgiveness and reconciliation with the people of Israel. This is why Elul serves as the divine mercy and forgiveness. Elul is, Elul is a huge, huge subject, and it's, the information goes on and on. So I'm just going to do a quick, uh, first it was 12 facts of Elul. Now I think I'm up to like 13 or 14. So each thing I'm going to mention, most of my information is from Habat.org. And for each one, there's you pick, and they would go further into each subject. So I'm just going to do a quick, we'll be here all day from what I could find. OK, so a little, it's the sixth month of the Hebrew calendar and the 12th final month of the Jewish calendar. Um, the name Elul uh, is, is the four letters of the name or the or an acronym for the initial letters of the phrase in Songs of Song 6-3. I am to my beloved and my beloved is to me. Um, they say this expresses the closeness that we experience with God. The month of Elul is, the fir is first referenced in Nehemiah 6-15. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of the month of Elul. Uh, Elul is associated with the letter Yod. Yod. Uh, Yod is the first letter of God's name, the name of mercy. Also, it's the final letter of the name Anut, uh, the name which includes the name Yahweh, Yahweh. I'm sorry, to reveal and express it to the world. Thus, the yod is the beginning, the essence of divine mercy, and the yod is the end, a manifestation of the divine mercy. Yod of Elul is the left hand, the controller, the mouth, um, the month sense, the sense of action and rectification. This is the final point of creation, reaching its ultimate purpose and end. The Yod is perfectly reflecting in created reality, the Yod Yahweh, Yahweh, hey. I'm not saying that right, sorry. <clears throat> the sign of the month of Elul is the Virgo, known as the Betula, or maiden or, maiden or virgin. Betula symbolizes God's beloved bride, Israel, to the bride of the Song of Songs, who says to her groom, I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. Uh, Elul is associated with the tribe of Gad. Gad means camp, as in the verse, God shall organize camps, and he shall return with all his camps, Genesis 49.12. <clears throat> Gad has a special talent, and that, that was to organize a company. Gad also means wealth, uh, good fortune. The action or the sense for Elul, like I said earlier, was action. Sense of action is the sense and inner knowledge that through devoted deeds of goodness, one is always able to rectify any blemish or broken state of the soul. Sense of action is the inclination to fix a broken object rather than to throw it away. Uh, it is also, the sense of action is also the sense of organization and management of complex systems. A lull is associated with the left hand, which is called the controller. As where the right hand controls the sense of sight, which is more spiritual of the two, the left is more physical and it controls the sense of action. 
The left hand touches the heart, and this teaches us that all rectified action derives from the good emotions and intentions of the heart. Elul is a time to increase and improve our mitzvah observance. Elul is when the king is in the field, smiling and accessible to all. Once the high holiday is upon us, God is, so to speak, in his palace. Now is a time when anyone can approach the king, God, with his request. And this is the main, this subject here, Chabad, can go on multiple more studying for it. So this is just a brief, there's a whole thing to, that explains why this subject of the king in the field. Um, so if you want to go and look at that yourself. Elul is a time of introspection. Uh, just like Pastor Joe said recently, uh, is a time to prepare for the upcoming days of awe of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The Selakot, which is the communal prayers for divine forgiveness, are recited during Elul. Um, it says the highlight is the reciting of the 13 attributes of mercy. And this is considered the formula that God gave Moses for securing that divine forgiveness. And this is also another 13 attributes. We can go on a whole nother day of just studying that. Um, it is thought the concept of arousing God's attributes of mercy is understood simply as when we sin and ask forgiveness, or we are going through a trying time, God will come to our aid. And I'm proof of that. The Hasidics teach that reciting the 13 attributes of mercy creates a strong bond between God and soul. <clears throat> the shofar, we know the shofar from Yom Kippur, but the shofar is also blown every day of Elul, except for Shabbat, and the last day of Elul. It's a call to repentance. It's a soul-stirring chauffeur blast that expires, inspires us to come closer to God as we read, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. <clears throat> um, this is the time that people greet each other with the blessings. Uh, May you be inscribed and sealed for a good year. Another thing that happens during Elul, Psalm 27 is added to daily prayers, usually morning and afternoon, <clears throat> such as um, Psalms 27, 1, 2 of David. It's, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. From whom shall I be, she, I'm sorry, I should be frightened. The Midrash tells that the light is associated with Rosh Hashanah, and the My Salvation is uh, associated with Yom Kippur. And when you go down to Psalms 27, 5, it says, He will shelter me in his pavilion on the evil day. Grant me protection in his tent. He shall hide, he shall hide me, he shall um, set me high. I think I forgot to read, write the rest of that out. That port is associated with Sukkot. It is thought that one, if one, when one recites this psalm, Psalm 27, the entire thing, in a state of holiness, purity, and great concentration, will have his prayers answered, and it has the power to nullify divine creeds. And the last thing, the Baal Shem Tov instituted three chapters of the Psalms to be recited each day from first of Elul to Yom Kippur. And then the last thing was that this starts, and for our Jewish brothers and sisters, this starts a whole new studying cycle. And that is it. <laughs>